Welcome back. Now we are taking a trip to Savannah, Georgia to visit the home of chef, restaurateur, and author Paula Dean. This waterfront property sits on more than five acres of lush land and it has just about everything a celebrity chef needs, like an indoor-outdoor kitchen, a barn, and even a chicken coop. Hello, y'all. Welcome to my home. I live in Savannah, Georgia, and my house is located on Wilmington Island, and I'm so excited about y'all visiting. You know, everybody that comes into my front door, I want them to walk away with one of my biscuits because I tell you, personally, I think they're the best in the world. I am so tickled about y'all getting a chance to look at my kitchen because, you know, I'm one of those women that feel like my kitchen is the heart and the heartbeat of my home. I've got a fairly big family now. My children have multiplied. And so this is a necessity for pancakes. And my grandchildren love pancakes. I've got two ovens down here. When we were working on this house, it was so important to Michael and me that it was all about detail, 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 y'all. I was so lucky I found a woman in North Carolina that salvages old light fixtures and then she remarries them. There's no telling how old some of the pieces in these lights are. So there's a piece of history in so much of this house. I love things that have depth to them. And what I love about it also, y'all, it's a grand house for entertaining. If you like to have friends over, this house doesn't have but nine rooms. I didn't want a lot of rooms, but the rooms I did want, I wanted them to be nice and gracious. So let's get these in the oven, y'all, and let's go tour the rest of the house. So here we go, y'all. The entrance hall is very, very gracious, but y'all, it was so important to me. I wanted when my friends walk in the door that the house feels like it's wrapping its arms around you and giving you a kiss and saying, hey y'all, come on in. That was just so important that it be comfortable. I've got some hobbies, y'all. One of them is shelling. And I found this beautiful bust and I used a Brie wax on him to get him the color I wanted. And I shelled this entire bust. This is our great room, or I refer to it as our living room. This is a built-in buffet table. It's got refrigerators, freezers, warming drawers. We just pull all the food out of the warming drawers and sit right up here, and this becomes our sideboard. So it is the perfect, perfect way to entertain. And of course, the views that we get here, y'all, the sun sets right out our back door. So y'all, I don't say this to just everybody, but would you like to come into my bedroom? So we're on our way to the bedroom, Gus. Okay, but just one second. I want to show y'all one of my husband's loves, and that's his tropical fish tank. You know, they say if you sit and watch one and relax, it'll actually lower your blood pressure. And there's some days I really need that. <laughs> let's dance, baby. Come on, let's dance. <laughs> you know, there's so many things in this room that kind of make it just feel real special. Makes me feel special. The fireplace, the Venetian plaster on the walls. So welcome to our beautiful outside living space. One of the things that attracted us so much to this place was the property. We have almost five acres on deep water and there's a dock house that sits over the water. There's even a hole in the floor so Michael and I can sit in the kitchen and fish or crab right there. There's wild plum trees, the kumquats, raspberry bushes, and do you hear somebody talking? Well, they're talking to us, and that's my precious little goats. Hey, Charlie. Hi. How are y'all doing? Hey, boys and girls. 
Let's check on the eggs. I bet there is some. These chickens are so happy. They say a chicken is not supposed to lay but one egg a day. I think some of them actually lay two a day. So let's check the biscuits, y'all. I think they should be ready, and they are. Look at that. Now that's a biscuit, y'all. I so appreciate y'all coming in today and visiting with me, and I think that you need to try the best biscuit in the world. Here, have one. <laughs>